music is a I huge part of our society. It brings videos. people together, lets Again. you express yourself <laughs> in new and creative hey, ways, can even lean. help you get through tough times. Personally, <laughs> for me, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I've honestly never been a big music person. What? I know. Throw me into a volcano. I would just I rather won't. watch YouTube videos. I don't know. I like Same. the constant flashing colors and pictures, I think. Huh. Like, I don't hate music. Interesting I don't honestly listen to anything, but that's, that's kind of it, me, yeah. you know? Nothing stands out to me, and I don't go out of my huh. way to listen to it. If anyone out there is like what? me, you understand the pain of when a conversation starts turning towards the topic yeah. of music. You know exactly what's coming, and you're helpless to yeah. stop it there's nothing you can do it's already in motion the person huh. you're talking to opens their mouth and you wince as they say it so what kind yeah. of music do you listen to <laughs> that's funny oh, i don't i don't really listen to music like not at all <laughs> nah, maybe like some video game music every once in a while but that's kind of it yeah damn <laughs> that's that's crazy yeah yeah and after that conversational stumbling, yeah. the person starts uh. talking about the music they like, and you have to stand there and take it. Oh, that sounds yeah. cool. I should give it a listen. You're just lying through huh. your teeth, not being convinced in the slightest, and will immediately forget every too. piece of information they tried to feed you. Even if I wanted to look it up later, my brain goes, get this out of here immediately. We've got to make <laughs> room for the four-hour-long video essay about Freddy Fazbear. Hey, hey, Basically, like, I don't connect to music the way the majority of people do, and no one, including me, is happy about it. Look, I've tried to contribute in my own way, but no one else listens to the Mario Kart Cheese Land theme in their free time. It's I good. Like the no music, me. Though. Now, on a completely unrelated note, a while ago I wanted to get into a hobby that was fun and huh. active at the same time because I do not move if not in some guys too. Though. And that's not good. I'd like to huh. still be fully functional at the age of 30. So after a bit of soul searching and digging around in the old ideas jar, I decided huh. to try out DDR. I got a dance pad, and yeah, some yeah, fun yeah, video yeah. game song, hey, and Mario, I'm to you. Dance Dance Revolution 2. And I got really into it. It was the most active I've been since high school. I was doing hey, cardio for hours on end. I don't think I can go that way. After watch. playing my batch of custom songs for a few months, I decided to download some more stuff. And that's when I casually thought to myself, I wonder if there's any good Vocaloid charts. Now to start a Oh boy, where is your Vocaloid? We all know who it is. Vocaloid is a voice synthesizer program, right? Yada yada yada. Basically, it's hey, robot Sonic. voices you can control to write songs. Wait, and there's vocal, different we all know who based based on what to. voice you use. The most common example, you know her, you love her, is Hatsune Miku. Yep, strapping yep. folks, we're finally talking about Hatsune Miku, my beloved. My history with Hatsune yeah, Miku don't is a bit all over the place. So I I yeah, I'm kind of a fan of Hatsune Miku too. I don't remember exactly how, but I probably just stumbled onto some of her popular songs while browsing YouTube one day. Either way, I was obsessed, and that was the first instance of me actually listening to music. I was listening to Hatsune Miku before COVID. I listened to Hatsune Miku before COVID. class, the teacher told us to write right, a is that you when COVID starts. You wanted. Most kids talked about like ending racism or recycling huh. or something like that, but I decided my presentation was gonna be about our girl Hatsune Miku. You know, yeah. just as morally important as ending racism and preventing global wow. warming. Of course, I disguised it as a presentation about our hologram concerts gonna be the future of live music, but it was really just an excuse to gush about Miku because <laughs> I desperately needed that outlet. I was a lonely child. Honestly, I'm not even sure how I I like that your decision, man. to do that presentation in the first place because as the shy art girl who never talked to huh. or hung out with anyone, it was a bold choice for me to talk about something considered so strange and nerdy at the time. I started yeah. my presentation and immediately was like, oh my god, what the hell am I doing talking about yeah. a holographic Japanese pop icon in front of my normie ass I mean, I already got to have some good chance, every too. Moment, so... I didn't stop myself from getting right here. After playing Miku's viral World Is Mine performance for the class, Ooh, that's the, a good like, song popular girls was like that was cool can we watch another and i thought you were making fun of me so i just sat back down as much as i loved miku back then my anxiety got the better of song me, around and i slowly nothing. drifted away from her because i didn't want to feel like a social outcast it's a dog yeah. eat dog world when you're a teenager and you know it we were all just trying to survive yeah. out there i'm sorry okay. miku, i was weak fast forward to current Jaden. i've grown up a bit and more sure of myself huh. learned some life lessons I'm not surrounded by self-conscious teenagers 24-7. I'm now sitting uh. here in front of my computer screen with a choice. 
Should I choose to yet again repress myself from pursuing a niche and uncommon huh. interest because of self-conscious oh. fears? Or am I going to choose self-healing and growth and allow myself uh, to creepy. fully re-explore the world of a Japanese virtual pop star? That guy reminds me of Monica. Crank up that, Miku. I started downloading songs I listened to years ago, found some new ones. I was exploring huh. and already getting more and more. That's creepy. I chose to leave behind out of fear years ago. I was flourishing, and that's how it began. I didn't know it back then, but this was the first step of a hyperfixation like no you. other I've experienced. Hatsune Miku was showing me the ways of truly enjoying music. I was playing her whenever I was in the car, consistently looking up new songs and artists to add to my playlist, even listening that's to kind of neat, I yeah. work or play video games, which I pretty much never did. My world was changing. And it was all hers. This wasn't just the music either. It huh. was straight up about Hatsune Miku. I've never been a yeah. figure collector, but I started buying so many Miku figures, I had to get a custom shelf in my office Whoa. just to display them all. Dude, it's such a double-edged sword yeah. to be Glad you too, Because you. the fan base That's is constantly sword. being fed. New Miku uh. this, new Miku that. Gorgeous figures are coming out yeah. like every month. What am I supposed to do? Not buy them? Every house Maybe needs to have at least down. one Miku. That's a feng shui rule. Also, a huge eh. oversight on my part. When I got my Miku shelf installed, I wanted it above my computer. It turned out great and displays them really well. Yeah. But when I'm actually sitting at my desk and want to look up and admire my figures, all I see yeah. is accidental upskirt shots and I feel yeah. so bad. I'm sorry, Miku. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I promise. It was a miscalculation on my yeah. part. So whenever I'm at my desk, I just don't look up. As most of you probably hey, know, you. Pokemon invited Jacob and me to Japan to attend the Pokemon World Championships back in August. That was super fun, and the video of that trip should be up by now if huh. I plan things correctly. If not, then oops. But Worlds also just so happened to overlap with Magical Mirai, also huh. known as one of the biggest Hatsune Miku expos and concerts yeah. ever. Oh boy, we all know this is going. We had to go. Huh. Since getting super into Miku, it became one of my biggest dreams to see her live in concert. Who knows if we'd ever get this perfect of an opportunity again. Once That's she like got to backstage and we became friends. I immediately tried to get tickets but huh. couldn't figure out how the Japanese ticket system worked. So Emily ended up having to help me out. She was also the cool. one who told me about the concert in the first place. So thank you, Emily. <laughs> hero, my savior. Whoa. We had tickets. But not actually, because if you don't know, the way Japan does most of their impact. online ticket systems is through a gotcha. Yeah, random lottery. No matter how much but, money I was willing I like to lottery. hypothetically spend to get these tickets, at the end of the day, we were all just like those little numbered balls in that big uh, spinner thing. Months pass as I eagerly await our fate. Then... The email pops hey, up hey, in my inbox. I, I click this, it and it way too to understand any of the contents until my eyes catch it. Successfully obtained tickets. Yeah. We're gonna save me, guys! That, so we well, that reminds me of Spongebob. The air tasted more pure. The sun was smiling, beaming even. I smiled back for the first time. Something smelled like toast. You have no idea how excited I was. I don't even I'm understand glad to see you're a big Hatsune Miku. Miku as much as I do, but she has become one of the pillars of my being. Let's jump to the day of the concert. Jacob and I yeah. are in Japan and are just about to arrive at the convention center. I remember looking out the window of the taxi, getting so excited to yeah, see baby. people wearing their Miku shirts and kimonos, and they had Miku bags. I felt huh. like I was finally around my people. We get wow. there, walk into the convention center, and a blast of Hatsune Miku hits us. Wow. Giant Miku statues and posters, booths Is that stocked like a convention? Miku merchandise. Almost everyone dressed head to toe in Miku clothes. I saw people with Hatsune Miku suitcases to hold all the Real? Miku things what? they were buying. I immediately wanted to run around and look at everything all at once. There were yeah. Yeah. times where Jacob lost me because I just started walking off in different directions. How did you the statue? We spent a few hours looking around and buying things. We spent a lot of money. But eventually, we started getting ready for the live concert. I was giddy with excitement at this point. She was going to be right in front of me. Huh. We found our seats, and dude, we were pretty damn close to the stage. Especially That's good, for though. Randomly seats. Selected seats. I couldn't believe how close we were going to be to Hatsune Miku. I already knew going into what? it I was going to cry frame one. If you didn't know it's pretty standard to 
have special Miku glow sticks you can shape to the beat of whichever song is playing. You can even switch them to the coordinated color huh. of whichever vocaloid is on fact. stage at the time. I've only learned about it from watching videos of concerts <laughs> on YouTube. That's gonna be far, bad. I gotta say, it <laughs> was so fun up. to see people before the show warming up their arms and practicing their glow stick moves. They really take Hatsune Miku huh. seriously and I respect yeah. it so much. Some people were even quadruple wielding glow sticks. The record I personally saw was six, like what? some sort of Miku Wolverine. It was a Wolverine. huge bummer though, because Deadpool. Jacob and I tried to buy some sticks of our own at the expo hall, but they were already sold out. So we didn't have any. Whoa. It was kind of embarrassing. Soon enough, the Miku yeah. songs the venue was playing started getting louder, and the house lights dimmed. And man, seeing the lights yeah. turn down and the teal glow of all the sticks kind of like light together to point. light up the room. Honestly, it, it made me tear up. I don't even yeah. think I realized how much I loved Hatsune Miku until that moment being completely huh. surrounded by people who love her just as much and more than i do this is what it's like to be into music isn't it to experience yeah. these moments being completely like, yeah! in the community like a cool connected movie. by a single art i get it now I mean, she's it's beautiful. Like the room glowed Miku blue and everyone was cheering and shaking their glow sticks anticipating her appearance. All the vocaloids were introduced one by one with text on the hologram awesome. screen. Miko, Luka, Kaiko, Kagamina, Rin, and Lan. And then... Hatsune Miku. The crowd yeah. went ballistic. I could already feel yeah. myself holding back tears. A little digital poof explosion goes off, and there she was, right huh. in front of us. She's like... She started wow. singing, and Jacob and I huh. were cheering and bouncing with the rest of the crowd. Nice By the music. time she got a couple songs in, Jacob and I were definitely feeling left out for not having the glow sticks to shake. So yeah. we pulled out our Miku plushes to use in place of them, and that felt much better. By the end of the concert, idea. Jacob was even dual-wielding Mikus. After huh. a few songs, Miku disappeared, and the other Vocaloids played some of their songs. I honestly awesome. don't know them as well, so I wasn't too familiar with most of the songs they all played, wow. but I was having a great time nonetheless. It was nice to not be fighting tears the whole time anymore Good as well. Me. Then Miku came back and I... The wow! Was gone and we learned some real nice glow stick moves, replaced with our Miku plushes, of course. There's the huh. classic arm cheer on beat, the on beat off beat, the building cheer on to beat, even throw in the advanced building cheer on to yeah. double beat with a height. I'll say it, right, doing yeah. all those glow stick movements was honestly I can't a remember really that. crazy I used arm that workout. Trick. Like, huh. we were working biceps and shoulders for two hours straight. Imagine Beat Saber, but higher up in the posture wow. with almost no breaks. And if you don't commit, then Hatsune Miku thinks you hate her. I wanted to mention huh. that in Vocaloid concerts, obviously they have a recording of the vocals. Yeah. Because, you know. But all the other instruments were yeah. absolutely real. There was a live band playing all the songs for the yeah, entire we all know, set. In yeah. the middle of the concert, there was even a nice little appreciation moment showcasing I saw all the band members by name, accompanied by a little well. solo they got to play. Huh. I'm a big bass fan and would love to learn how to play it one day. And huh. I know bass players get super neglected because I everyone the Mario wants to music watch the again. Cool guitar players. So I gave extra attention to the Miku bass player. They definitely noticed me cheering for them, probably because I could tell everyone huh. was watching the guitar players and I was the only one actually looking at them. And the bass <laughs> player smiled super wide and raised his bass to me and I just thought that was a nice moment appreciate yeah. your bass players guys they need it anyway hey, Scott, the on, on. there were awesome lasers and sparklers huh. fun costume changes from all the vocaloids great set list cool. shout out to the guy in front of us that was there with his girlfriend and huh. definitely more excited to be there than she was finally hey, okay. it came to the encore we had to convince Miku to play one more song you know huh. at least in America people are like, cheering and screaming smart. for an encore yeah. Well, Japan is like so quiet Whoa. and polite. They were saying it like a suggestion. It was so quiet. Kind of just a long session of applause Whoa. with a whisper of me goo. Me. <laughs> yeah, like, I if I were Hatsune Miku, I would have questioned if they even wanted the encore in the first place. Also, we yeah. were asking for the encore for like five minutes straight. I was fully convinced she had left the building. But she came out for her last oh, song. No. It was a blast. The song she was in her magical mid-eye outfit for the year. And it was over.
I've only gone to one other concert in my entire life, and it was yeah. because a friend in college had an extra ticket and invited me along. I didn't even know the band at the time. It was some random group called Fall Out Boy or something. Fall Out Boys. Oh, I heard that from Titanium. Concerts Go. and still say this was the Phil. best one I've ever been to. I loved the energy. Huh. I loved how passionate and excited I everyone was to, to be the there. Concert, but and I loved Hudson. And still do. I want to go to so many more of her concerts. It was a great event for me, and I want to relive it again and again. You might think it's weird, huh. or you don't get it. It's just a hologram robot girl, right? Yeah. That's totally fine. If you can't find it in Vocaloid, I hope everyone has the opportunity to connect with or find a community to enjoy like I have with Hot oh, I, I listen to Because Hatsumiku's moments music like that too. concert are so incredible, and huh. I feel so Even lucky to have been there. Copyrighted. I just want everyone to experience something like that in their life. I feel like your crossover is Sonic Hedgehog. Getting into Vocaloid can be a bit intimidating, it so, so, so subscribe to Genie Animation for more of their videos, because I'm glad to see, see, see Jane here is a big, is a big fan of the Hatsune Miku series. And, huh. listen to in the description and, probably and don't forget to subscribe to Hatsune Miku channel for more, too, as well. I hope you enjoyed, I am off to apply for more tickets to another Miku concert. Bye-bye.